Peter, aka MASP, and today we're going to be looking at Michael Foster Photography. Uh, Michael reached out to me through the website www.maspblog.com and uh, just wanted some feedback. He had gotten some positives uh, from some of his friends and some negatives from some of his friends. And they would be kind of surprised that he would show some things next to other things. So he just kind of uh, wanted some help with his presentation. Uh, just right off the top, his his picture taking ability is fantastic. He's a very strong photographer. I think people are gonna agree with that. Just it's pretty clear to me. But he does kind of lack the ability to decide on what he should show and what he shouldn't show. Uh, just gonna take a quick look through here. So you can track him down at Michael Foster Photography uh, dot com. I believe is the site there. And um, yes, indeed it is. No, 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 sorry. Imagesbymichaelfoster.com. And uh, if you take a look at him there, you'll see that he's got a lot of great work, but he's got a lot of work. Uh, taking a quick look through what he had there in his featured section, there were eight images, which is cool. And his featured section is all kids. And I would like to see him maintain that as a feature of his work but maybe just have it under kids on his site. He had female headshots, which I believe he had around 83 images in. He had male headshots, which had 54 images. He had performing arts, which had 64 images. And then portraits, which had 80 images. That's a lot of images. And most people aren't going to take the time to go through that much. So really, most of it's being wasted. So what you should do is just focus in on what you think is your best and then don't show anything else. And by what I think is your best, I mean, you should be able to call that down to, uh, it's gonna be a very small percentage of what you're currently showing. Really, I don't think it's a great idea to have portraits, male headshots, and female headshots. I mean, I'd like to see you kind of treat all your headshots the same. Uh, although I do like having the kids separated because I think there's a different market for portraiture of children and your children pictures are sharp. They're just, those are really nice. You're doing a great job. I can see why you feature it. Right now I'd say the female work, not as strong as the male work, but really I would take that female, male, and portraits, those three sections, which have a couple of hundred images in there, and then just crush them into a 20 image folder. You know, and really in each section, I wouldn't put more than 20 images. You really just want people to see your best stuff and really get an idea of what you're aiming for. So what we're going to do um, first off is I'm just going to go through a few pictures, kind of showing an example of what I'd like you to keep and what I think maybe we won't be keeping for each of those sections. Uh, I'm going to tell you in advance, I actually don't have a don't keep for the featured kid section because I just think that's wonderful. And then I'm going to probably go through every single image in your site and assign it a type of emoji. And that'll tell you just kind of stay or go because I can't talk through each one. That's a, that's a lot of images, friend. So that's not happening. So just in a second here, I'm just going to load stuff up and then we'll see what we can do all right so um this is from your featured section this image i think is absolutely fantastic the connection with your subject is great i like the symmetrical framing of it i love the wardrobe for it and the way you light things you tend to get this nice glow to the skin that is just beautiful i think this is a really great image for a child portrait that you don't usually see. It's kind of sophisticated. This looks like it's from National Geographic. Once again, spot on connection with the subject. Great. I love the wardrobe. Absolutely fantastic with the tilt to the hat. The knocked out back, knock out of the background is great. There's a little bit of what I think is, uh, it's either my screen or it's sensor dust, which could be cleaned up real easy in post if it isn't my screen. But on a whole, not too much bad to say about this. This is one of your great female portraits, so good job on that. This one would be an example of an image that I would probably say could come out. It 
lacks those things that the other one has. The light isn't quite as good, making some harsh shadows on the left uh, side of the frame for the eye. It's, it's looking like it's unsharp or slightly out of focus in the wrong areas. And the cropping kind of knocks out parts of it that just makes things look awkward. So this would be the type of thing that you no longer want to keep in your portfolio. One second. Fantastic. So yeah, it's a little bit campy, but that's great. He's got a lot of character in his face. I really love the glow that you're getting again. Perfect framing. It's The wardrobe is great. The hat, I have a little emoticon I might put up for this because it's perfect for it. I really do love this. And just past the time here, so that's okay. But in terms of your uh, performance images, I think this is really what I'm thinking of for like a keeper for your performance images, something that shows something that maybe the other photographers at the event wouldn't have gotten. This looks like something from a magazine. It looks like something from a video. It's got depth. It's got a little play on focus. It's got action. You're in a moment. You feel like you're at the concert. And that's really all you can ask for for that type of an image. So. You've got a lot of great stuff. It's really not a question of that at all. You're just fantastic. But really, it's trimming down some of those things. So now I might just see if I can flip through some pictures, load up certain things, and see if we can kind of do a little quick my version of culling. Of course, these are all just my opinion. So like, if you don't agree, then you don't agree, and that's completely cool. But just kind of what I think might be a stayer and what might be a goer. All right, so uh, pretty much impossible for me to go through everything on your site. So I just did the uh, the uh, portrait section there. Um, kind of wrapping it up, final thoughts while this kind of cycles through. I really love your photography. I think you're fantastic. You're doing a great job. You really just have to be ultra critical when you look at your pictures and just cutthroat. This is great. This is okay, this isn't so good, and this isn't so good can be for different reasons, like uh, the mood of the shot, the expression of the person, something out of focus, something so grainy that it just degrades the image, not in kind of like a cool, grainy, filmic way. Any of those reasons, that's something that you don't show. And then I would even then look at the ones that were cool, which I indicate with a little uh, ice cube, and crazy hot, which is uh, natural gas flame there, and then just take the crazy hots. And that's probably the best thing you could do. It'll make you look like what you are, which is extremely talented. Uh, like if you like, uh, dislike if you dislike. Um, if you're really, really emotionally complex and that just doesn't fit you, then there's a comment box. And uh, subscribe if you can. Thank you very much. <laughs>